so our next video we are having that is strength of acid and base acid and base so what is strength okay as you guys all know that our hand is defining the acid and base which means that he said that both will be ionized or dissociate likewise in hydrogen ion will be dissociate in the h2o and oh ions will be in dissociate in the h2o okay so the strength of acid and base are basically defined as the degree of dissociation of dissociation okay or the limit of dissociation or the degree of ionization that can be either acid on either or base so this degree of dissociation is basically expressed by this alpha sign and that is basically equal to the number of ions which are dissolved that is OH ions and H ions okay but what dissolved dissolved ion in that two and upon total number of undissolved ion undissolved that the undissolved molecules which are like H, H plus and OH here we are counting the dissolved ion in the water and here we are counting the undissolved ions in the water if you have to find the percentage we will divide multiply by the hundred okay so if you have to find the percentage of the dissociation or acid in base so the number of this dissolved ion okay or here we are counting the total number of molecules that will be multiplied by 100 okay so with that formula we can easily find out the that is the either the acid or in a base that if the concentration of hydrogen is like more which means that is the acid and if the concentration of the OH ions is more which means that is the basic okay if the dissociation is basically less okay the ionization is basically less which means that is the weak electrolyte uh, you can take the example of the H2O okay and their degree is basically less you can take the example like minus 14 we were having the you can say that the degree of the hydrogen and OH ions in the water as you guys all know we have discussed this so which means that is basically very 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 weak electrolyte because that is already in the minus which means that is very weak electrolyte okay and their degree is basically less okay we can take the example from we are having the equilibrium constant as you guys all know equilibrium constant that was always from the weak electrolyte which was equal to the kc okay we were having the ratio of the acid plus base this is the dissociation constant of base and this is the dissociation constant of the acid okay for example the ka is 10 is power 22 which means their dissociation degree is very 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 larger okay that is very strong electrolyte if the dissociation value of the you can say that acid is basically the minus 20 which means this is in the minus which means this is very weak electrolyte and the degree is very 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 less okay because that is in the minus okay likewise is base 2 if the dissociation of the base dissociation degree of the base is for example 10 is power minus 12 which means that is very very weak electrolyte that's why this is in the minus and this is very like very weak if the dissociation degree of the base is likewise mine not minus but 17 okay which means their dissociation okay if the dissociation value is like 17 which means this is very strong electrolyte 
and this is having a very larger like dissociation degree okay if the dissociation degree is like this which means this is mild neither strong neither weak neither weak or neither strong if the dissociation is like this which means that is the weak dissociation if the dissociation is like this which means this is the strong dissociation because of the positive charge and here we are having the negative charge which means this weak dissociation for example we are having the oxalic acid okay their dissociation value is basically 5.6 multiplied by 10 is power minus 22 and if we talk about the formic acid their dissociation value is 1.6 multiplied by 10 is power minus 7 this is minus 2 which means this is more weak and this is stronger as compared to this one 22 because this is more weak and this is less weak as compared to this both are weak but as compared to both this is the weaker and this is the stronger so through this formula we can find out out the basically the strength or the dissociation value okay we are having many percentage if we talk about so we are having the acid and base if you are having if you talk about the strong acid we are having the hcl sulfuric acid okay if you talk about this is a dissociation a degree that is 90 to 95 percentage this is this is like strong if you talk about this that is 60 percentage you will say that this is 60 and this is current counting as a strong how but we are this is the first ionization first ionization our first ionization their value is like this for example like uh, this is to so for dissociate in the like this which means this is this, this is loss of one hydrogen we talk about h so for this will dissociate in the hydrogen ion plus so4 so this we are talking about the, the this is the first dissociate this is the first ionization and this is the second ionization we are talking about the first ionization so that is count as a 60 okay and this is having also if it count about the second ionization so there will be the more that's why we are counting that as a 60. if we talk about the strong base so that is naoh that is equal to also the 90 to 95 percentage which means this is strong if you talk about the potassium hydroxide which is also strong which is having the value that is 90 to 95 percent we have to learn these all if we talk about the barium hydroxide that is also the 77 percent but this is also the first partial ionic this is also the partial ionic okay likewise this and for like if there is a, we are having the group one and group two if they both are combining with the oh ion so they are making the strong base this is the main point first group element and second group element they both are combining with the oh ion they are making a strong base so this is the dissociation value like there is a degree like in the percentages so this was about the strength of acid and base